child today. If this is your first time here, we want to welcome you. And if you are returning, welcome back. Glad that you decided to hit, hit the play button to see what this video is all about. All right, today we're going to be doing some mod podging. Beginner friendly mod podging, okay? Taking something simple, applying it to something else that's simple, making it into something that is amazing okay all right now if you like this type of content i suggest that you go ahead and subscribe to the video because this is what we do over here we do a lot of diys all right now um if you like the video at the end give me a big old thumbs up tell me what it is that you like about it it helps my channel out to leave me a comment as well as the like and the subscribing all right, so what we have here is some items from Dollar Tree and Walmart. All right, picked up this nice farmer's market Dollar Tree for uh, next year, the 12 month calendar. And I have already used out of this, but this is what is on, is on the inside. You have all of these designs here on the inside. And what I'm going to do is use some want two of these to create something nice all right i have this bless beyond measure sign here this chopping board i love these i love working with these because this is great for kitchen decor great 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 for kitchen decor and i'm going to be using the sanding sponge from dollar tree by the tool bench i have this little wood insert I use what it goes into on another project. So I'm just going to take this and use this with it. We have the famous Mod Podge. This came from Walmart. And you can get the small ones at Dollar Tree. They're in the little small tubes that you just squeeze out. And yeah, this one is the 8 fluid ounces. I forgot how much I paid for this. But I usually like to buy the big one because it just lasts longer. Um... But if I can't find the big one, I don't mind buying the small ones from Walmart and just filling this same container back up. And then we have the Apple Barrel brand from Walmart in burnt umber. All right. Acrylic paint. So what we're going to begin doing is we're going to have to sand down the cutting board. And we're going to go ahead and take out what we need from out of here. I'm going to be using this. This one says the herb garden. So y'all know we cook with bay leaves, basil, parsley, lavender, rosemary, tarragon, and thyme. These are herbs that we cook with. So why not put this in your kitchen? Okay. So we're going to be using that. And then we're also going to be using the small one on the back here. All right, so I'm going to get this cut out. I am going to get this baby here sanded down to try to smooth out and take off this um, glitter here as much as possible. And then we'll be back to show you the painting process as well as the mod podging process. Okay, so if you're interested in seeing what I come up with, I suggest that you keep on watching. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. I have this nice and sanded down. As you can see, it doesn't look as glittery. And I went ahead and sanded down the entire thing just to get it kind of rough. And what we're going to do is paint we're going to paint the chopping board as well as the end cube insert. And what I'm going to do is when I paint, I'm going to make sure that I wipe off with the paper towel because I don't want it to be so heavily on. It will take less drying time. Okay, so it, I'm going to go ahead and begin painting everything. Keep on watching.
All right, so now we have both of them painted. You notice here, I want it to just really go light coated with this because we're covering this side up. This side was definitely easy to paint because there was nothing on it. So because we're covering it up, that part didn't matter. I want to make sure that I keep this kind of stained and rustic looking, the handle here. So we're going to let this completely dry and then we're going to get into the Mod Podge. Okay, so if you're interested in seeing what I come up with, keep on watching. Okay, now that our items are dry, nice and dry, front and back, our little cube here is dry. We're going to go ahead and start with our mod podging process. All righty. So this is the mod podge here. This is the satin finish. It says it's a water-based sealer, glue and finish. Water base sealer, glue, and finish. That's what this is, and this is the actual satin finish. You can get the glossy finish as well. And what we're going to do is you want to be careful with this. You don't want to apply too, too much. So what I like to do, uh, because my it's getting a little to the bottom, I like to pour me a generous amount right in the very center, Okay. And what I'll do is just dab a little bit. And I'm using the sponge brush from Dollar Tree. Because that's what you want to use. You don't want to mess up your brushes. These sponges are great for Mod Podge. And you want to make sure that you get it. A little bit goes a long way. Because this is going to dry up and seal. Then I like to go to the other side and kind of meet in the middle. But make sure that when you get that bit on that brush, spread it out as far as you can get it to go. Okay, so you got you a nice even amount here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the rest on the front of this because I'm going to be styling it like this. So I want to go ahead and you can actually do the entire cube if you want, especially if you're using the glossy, if you want it to be glossy. You can do the entire cube, but I, I'm, whatever is left on it, I'll just brush. On the sides, because it's gonna serve as the bottom. Okay. I don't have to put it on the top or the bottom, just the sides and the front, okay? Now, we're gonna let that dry. And what we're gonna do is take our picture from the calendar and we're going to Place it. I'll make sure I'm staying in so you all can see it. 
and we're going to, you want to make sure you go over the edge. There's a little hole here. That doesn't matter because we're going to embellish it and cut that off. So I like to center it. And what you want to do is spread it out with your fingers. You want to spread it out. I like to press it down around the edge like so once I get it spread it out like I want. Go around all of the edges. And make sure you get the little, sometimes you have little bubbles. You can press down with your hand. And there's a little scraper that Dollar Tree have. I'm gonna show that to you in just a second. I like to try to do it with my fingers as much as possible because if you press down too hard with the little scraper, you can rip and tear your paper. Okay? Like so. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and attach our little small sign here. We're gonna go ahead and attach this to the front of this. And this is the little scraper that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And all you gotta do is just use it and what it does is just flattens everything out. And smooth out all those little bubbles but like I said you got to be careful because you don't want to cause any ripping or tearing with too much pressure okay and that's how that is looking okay and what I'm gonna do is just go over it with a tiny bit of Mod Podge just a little bit more And that's just what's going to help continue to seal it and lock it in. And once it dries, it's going to dry down. Very, very pretty. Okay, so I have my cutting board right here. And I have my little knife, utility knife here. And what we're going to do is make sure that we cut on the board. And close your blade up when you're done with it. And we're just going to trim out around the edges to get us a nice, perfect cut. Push it up so you can stay on the board. Right, and all you have to do is just pull it. Sometimes it rips a little bit when you're cutting, if you don't be careful. And then what I like to do, voila, what I like to do is go back, flip it back over, Whatever little pieces I see, I just go around it and clip, trim them off closely. All right. And look at what you have. You have created, you took two simple things and made something amazing. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, you can put more Mod Podge on the top if you like. I'm not going to. What I like to do is take my sanding block and just 
sand around the edges that's what's going to help make it even more neat and keep it from lifting I like going around the edges very very nice I think that turned out lovely okay all right so now what we're gonna do is we're going to begin to put everything together now what you can do I am considering attaching this to this I think that's what I'm going to do but what I'm going to do first is because I want to have some herbs coming out of here. So I have some uh, floral foam here. I have two little pieces from some leftover things. And I want to use both of them because I might as well. I'm going to put some glue here at the bottom of this one. Sit this one down in. And then I'm going to take the other one and glue it on top to make it just a little bit higher because it wasn't quite as deep, high up enough. So that's what we're going to do here. All right. Let me turn it the other way. Yeah. I'm going to turn it that way. All righty. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and begin embellishing this. Okay. So keep on watching. Okay. I have these herbs right here. These are some little herbs that I picked up from Dollar General over the summer. They are so cute and pretty and green and they look just like thyme or some type of rosemary herb I, it looks more like a rosemary so what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this and just do a little bit embellishing here on the top we're going to make a little bow with a little bit of jute cord and what i am going to go ahead and do is glue this down to the painting and i'm going to keep it kind of low i'm going to do it to the bottom Okay, and so we're just going to put some glue around the edges here. You, you can use a little wood glue as well. This is just regular hot glue. And what I'm going to do is glue it down at the bottom. And then you can hang this or not, you can even sit this up on your counter, okay? So now what we're going to do is, let me pull these off. Uh -huh.
Okay, so this is the completed look of this Mod Podge project. Simple, very, very simple, easy, and breezy for you to do. Okay, simple as one, two, three. We took four simple pieces and created something amazing. This looks very, very high end, and I think it turned out beautiful. I am in love with it. Uh, if you're an herb girl, listen, this will be great for your kitchen. If you cook with all types of herbs, this will be a great fit in your kitchen. So, if you like the video, give me a big old thumbs up. It helps me out. Leave me a comment and tell me what it is that you like about the video. Have you tried my podging before? Or if this is something that you felt like, no, I have tried it and I made a mess of things. And it's probably because you, you use too much Mod Podge, okay? So, subscribe to the channel if this is your type of content. I want to thank you all for stopping by today. Make sure that you come on back and check out the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.